about this until noon. <coughs> but first off, congratulations for being a finalist Thank you. to this Campbell Trophy. What does this mean for you to be honored as one of the 12 I mean, scholar athletes can usually die once a month? <laughs> uh, it's definitely humbling um, when I found out. You know, I was just like, wow, you know, like anybody. That's, I was selected out of a lot of people. Um, and it's, it's definitely a humbling experience to be able to like kind of see um, the hard work that you put in kind of, you know, paying off, um, especially during my last semester. So I just, I thanked God and I was like, wow, thank you, man. Like, you know, I thank Mr. Shutt and just the Wake Forest Athletic Department for nominating me. It's a humbling experience. And I'm, I'm proud to say that I get to represent Wake Forest um, being a finalist. Um, and I just thank God for it. And thank you for all, everyone who supported me. I know right now you're, you're concentrating on Virginia football and the, and the rest of the season, but you know, you're going to be going to a lot of awards. What's that going to mean to, to be you know, at all those things at the end of the season? I'll, I'll think about that at the end of the season. Uh, right now I'm focused on my season and winning the next game. Um, it's going to be a great experience, but I, I won't be thinking about that until the, to the end of it when, I, when my football uh, when my regular season career is over, and then I'll start thinking about the awards. But it's going to be great, and I'm excited. But right now, I got to win a football game. <laughs> Have you thought about what you're going to do with an at least $18,000 postgraduate scholarship? Uh, I plan to uh, to go to NBA school um, down the road. You know, first I'd like to chase my dream to go to the NFL, but when eventually I'll, I'd like to go back to NBA school and use that money. A lot of a lot of people see athletes, and then they think student athletes. How tough is it to juggle, you know, schoolwork, all your assignments on the football field and off the field? It is a grind. It, it, it never gets easier, um, but you just got to learn. And one thing I've just learned over the years is just how to prioritize your time. Um, a, a lot of people get into trouble when they procrastinate and put things off to the end, and then you're you're swamped because you got all this work and you have to get sleep and you have to prepare your body for a game. Um, so you really have to think ahead and plan and, and realize like, hey, I got a busy week next week, so I got to start ahead and kind of planning out your day and being organized or else things are going to start piling up. So it definitely is hard to learn that, especially coming in as a freshman, um, but you tend to, to get better and better each year at, at doing that. So that's something that I really learned and was good at even going back to high school, just learning how to prioritize my time. For sure. Yeah, I, mean, I always tell them, I mean, anything that you want to do, you can do it. You just got to be able to, you just got to be willing to put in the work, you know. It's not just going to be handed to you. You got to go out and get it. You have to sacrifice the time. Just like if you want to be good on the football field, you have to sacrifice the time in the weight room, on the field, and in the, in the, in the, the film room, you know. And just like with life, if you want to be good at anything, you got to put in the time to, to do it, to be good at that thing.